What's going on guys? This is Wing. And today I'm playing Street Fighter the movie. I'm gonna go with Street Battle because I think that's the arcade mode. Now I'm playing the home version of Street Fighter the movie. I believe they made two versions, one being the arcade and one being the home. Now the arcade version, I really wanted to try out. I don't know how would I be able to try it out, but I'll find some way. The home version was really, really broken. It was almost like you're playing a Mugen style of Street Fighter. Can't believe that was released on the arcade, but you know, it looked pretty fun like years later down the line before it was just like everybody looked at it it's like it was a really 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 trash game um the home version they made it more like um in the style of um super turbo where it's like everything don't combo into everything basically like you got your combos but it's like i don't know how else to say it the best way to say it is look at street fighter the movie the arcade version and look at street fighter the movie the sega saturn and playstation one version they both they both different in gameplay um and also yeah, this this game was made by Acclaim, and I guess Street Fighter was very very popular, still popular to this day. But I guess they saw what um, Mortal Kombat was doing, and you know you know how fighting game franchises are. They have to have their their movie, and when it's when it's being taken to Hollywood, like you know, they'll do everything that squeeze out every amount of money that they can from that set franchise. The movie was trash. Trust me on that. Don't even, don't even don't even bother watching it if you haven't seen it. Only best part about that movie is that John Claude was playing Guile, and that's about it. Special effects was trash. The story was trash. Everything. <clears throat> I mean, just look at Blanca. I don't need to say any more about that. But yeah. Um. I would normally go Ken. And I'm thinking about going Balrog. Oh yeah, in this movie, Balrog was a, what was it, a news reporter? But yeah, I'm going to go with Sawada, because Sawada was just a character just for Street Fighter the movie. Sawada versus Chun-Li. Sawada was basically supposed to be Fei Long. I think. They might as well just put Fei Long, but I don't know what happened. Except that he don't have his record. I blocked that. Oh, so... You have the Super... You have the EX. That's, I mean, I say that's about it. Your EX moves, you can't do, you can't do any EX moves until you build up some meter on your um, super bar. Be like, I got blue. And then you do your normal moves and press two of the. Um, yeah, yeah. 
two punches or two kicks moves depending on the, the move itself. I can try to show you. So I'm going to do his normal move with two kicks and have a shadow image of himself. And Charlie is not going to let me. Alright. Alright, Charlie. If you do if you do your EX when you have your super meter up, you get to use it unlimited times. If you do it when it's just building up like when it's in the blue, it actually takes meter away from the super bar. Which I mean I don't get um their choice of mechanics, but that's what they did for this game. But as you see, like the game, Round one, the game is it's all right. It's a playthrough. It was something that was good. I wouldn't say good. It was something that was played before its time. Oh yeah, this stage, this stage is Vegas stage. On the arcade version, this stage looked worse than this. Like you have people in a crowd in the back. And you have people in the front. It actually blocks your viewing of um It actually blocks the view of the game. It was like it was a really terrible stage. That's another thing about the arcade version. It's like Round two fight. What's the best way to describe the arcade version? It was like the arcade you was playing the beta of the home version. What I did right there was Sawada special. It didn't look much. It just looked like he just raised his hands and he just went towards you. I don't know what type of attack that what type of attack that was going for with that. Made no sense. And one thing about the arcade mode in the home version is that like normally in any Street Fighter game, you don't face all the characters. In this one, you face everybody. I think Akuma being... Next fight. Oh yeah, E. Honda. E. Honda's not, it's not Japanese in this. You see it right now. Which, I don't know why they did that. Alright, so Sawada, he has this, I don't know what the heck that is, I guess it's, that's supposed to resemble him drawing on his blade that he doesn't have. He has the uppercut one. I don't know why he's not coming out. It's like... Like he kneels down and they just see like a, a, a slash go over him. Round two. I, I think that's a cool um a cool animation, but makes no sense. There we go. 
He's just anti air. And then he has this this kick. Yeah, he has that kick. If I do the AX version, he does actually does the full version of the kick. You know what? Next round, I'm gonna see all of um, Sawada's EXs. And when I first played this game, I played this game on my cousin Sega Saturn. He had Sega Saturn at the time. I think Street Fighter the movie was like his second game that he ever gotten. Next fight. Sawada versus Ryu. Ryu and Ken, I forgot what was their roles in the um in the movie. Round one, fight. All right, since it's Ryu, we don't want to keep him. Uh, oh, sweeps. You're not grabbing me there. Alright, so that's his EX. Oh! There we go. What I'm trying to aim for, I'm trying to beat the game without losing a round. Round two! Fight! Oh, I ain't even perfect this one. But yeah, um, this I guess was also supposed to be the answer to to Mortal Kombat games because Mortal Kombat games were uh, were doing graphics like these. Next fight. They, from their very first game all the way to like three, they were using graphics like that, and. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat was was very popular when it came out. Round one. So popular to this Fight. day, but the only thing about Mortal Kombat is that in the competitive scene, it just seems like it doesn't last more than like um like two years, and then people wanting the next installment or maybe Injustice. In that case, maybe, which I don't get, but I'm hoping it's not the same thing. Um, the same thing is not going to happen to Mortal Kombat One that's supposed to be coming out. It's supposed to be coming out this month, actually. Round two, fight. Mortal Kombat One looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. They still having problems like doing like, you know, some. 
female characters. I mean, I'm not even gonna hold you to that. But the game looks pretty sick. And it's actually. It's actually a Mortal Kombat game that's like a continuation off of Mortal Kombat 11. Because really it's supposed to be 12, but since in 11, Liu Kang became an elder god. Liu Kang is like, he's reshaping the world the way that he wants it to be. So that's why it's, that's why it's MK1. It's basically, it's like a, uh, a brand new beginning for like the universe and whatnot. But in the eyes of Liu Kang. Or in a vision of Liu Kang. Which I think that Round after MK1, one. we're gonna get we're gonna be pulled into MK12, I believe. We're trying to go for like um I guess it goes for like a twist with the numbers. Are you done? Oh. You win. If I get MK1, I'll play it. Probably play it day one. Gotta see. I'm probably gonna get it for Steam. Oh, why you have to jump, Ken? Come on. Oh, no. All right, we won that. You win. Well, yeah, but as far as MK, the last MK I ever played was MK9. MK10 and 11, I just, like, you know... I just watched I watched tournaments of it. Like everybody loved MK ten, which I wish I got the chance to play it. And MK eleven, it was just like it was, it was a little mix. People that liked it and people that didn't. Next fight. And the, there was a demo for MK one. And I believe at the time when they released a demo, like people were saying that it was like it was a little too slow. Then they made it a little faster. And some saying it's like it's in the speed of what was it MK nine or ten. So that sounds like a good thing. But yeah, enough about MK. Round two. Um, Street Fight. Fighter Six will be coming up with their character. I think I don't know if it's at the end of the month or at the end of the week. Like her name is Aki. She's only, she's gonna actually play like a little bit like um, Fung from Street Fighter Five. Get out of here. Oh no, that's oh. Oh. Only because my super didn't come out. But yeah, Aki, she she look, um she looks She seems like she has like the same fighting style as Fung. She fight five. Just, just. 
I have our own. Like you're looking to win, right? Oh. Last thing coming out. Of course you block that. So if I get Street Fighter 6, I'll be trying out Aki as my first character. But if you know if you know me well, my favorite character is Rose. And I don't think they're gonna be bringing her back anytime soon. I don't think she's I don't think she's gonna be in Street Fighter 6. They already have their, their roster set for the characters that's going to be in Street Fighter 6. So, Rose is not up there. And plus, the way they had Rose in Street Fighter 5, like, I wasn't a fan of that, of that fighting style. <clears throat> I liked the, the way that they had Rose in Street Fighter 4. She was more of a a defensive projectile using character. Oh, come on, Blanca. Are we jumping a lot? Okay. Oh, one thing about the movie, too, about Blanca, which had me thinking that Blanca. They had Giles' friend Charlie, you know, Charlie Nash, as Blanca in the movie. And I used to think for years that that's what happened to Nash. Because I remember playing as Nash in um, Street Fighter Alpha. And Eric kept telling me, like, that's not Giles, um, that's not Ch um, Charlie or, what, or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, I never knew that. No way. You lose. Round three. Fight. All right, Blanca is definitely gonna make me lose a round. I can feel it. I mean, lose a match. Playing it safe. No, I didn't want to win my time over. You win. I mean, at least the stage looks cool. As far as Street Fighter movies go, the only Street Fighter movies that I was um only suggest you to watch would be Street Fighter Day. Was it the animated movie? It's the animated movie that I think is Alpha. I 
one was it? They have a Street Fighter Alpha movie. They have actually two Street Fighter Alpha movies. But the one that you should watch is the one that has Chun Li in there. And what's it called? There's Street Fighter Four the movie, but I ain't paying too much attention to Street Fighter Four. I think as far as like animation quality goes, like the animated movie and Alpha were like the best looking animations. And then you have like um, there's another one called um, Assassin's Fist. That one seemed alright. I seen that through um on Twitch TV. That one's alright. But they went the safe route. They they end up um using Ryu and Ken and Goken and Kuma. It's like if you're doing a movie based around them, you can't really go wrong with that. That was like the safest way that they, they could actually do it. And I guess they, they wanted to make them um they made a part two. Not a part two to that set, but like another live action. And I heard they had like Nash and everyone else in the movie. That movie sucked. That part sucked. But Assassin's Fist with Ryu, Ken, and Kuma and all that. Oh no, he's gonna grab me. You win. Assassin's Fist is alright. It's it's digestible content. What else? I guess that's it. Then you have like your, your anime. Next fight. Sawada versus BJ. All right, we got DJ. Oh, as I was saying before, as far as like the animations, they have the the one they used to show in USA, which that one was garbage, but it was like so many memes from that um, from that um, what's call it from that uh, from the animation. The animation quality looks horrible. And it was based around Street Fighter 2. Oh, no, DJ. But the, um, the anime that you should watch, if you want to watch a Street Fighter anime, will be Street Fighter 2V. And that one, the animation quality is good. And what's called Ryu and Ken, they learn how to use their their abilities. You win. But it's weird how they use it, though. It's like before they before Ryu would be like, what you call it? I'm trying to remember. No, I think it was Ken. Before Ken would use his sure you can, he'd be like, Hado, sure you can. Like, they always have to say Hado before they use their, their finish move. And I forgot what the plot was, but, um... The last fight that they had with Bison, it was Ryu and Ken. I think it was like the best thing I've ever seen in that anime. So yeah, if you haven't watched um, the Street Fighter 
2v anime you should watch that round one fight <laughs> Nice of got. Yeah, we're going through firewalls. You win. Oh, another thing about this game. The arcade version? All right. Since I'm playing the home Round version, everybody's doing the attacks the way they're supposed to. Like, you know, yeah, Hadouken. The guy shooting his tiger shots and his tiger uppercut. In the arcade version, it's like. They're not saying the moves at all. Like, when Ryu shoots um, Hadouken, he don't say Hadouken. He'd be like, I think he'd be like fire or something like that. It's like they got the whole you win. wording wrong for it. I'm, and I'm not even sure they use different actors for the, for the voices. Probably the same actors, but it just don't sound like a Street Fighter game when you've seen it when you actually when you're playing the arcade version. On another thing, bison in this game. Next fight. I don't remember the movie too much, but I do know that bison don't get his powers from psycho power. He gets his powers by getting electrocuted by the computers that freaking guy knocks him into. And the actor that played bison. Oh man, this suit is horrible. The actor that played Bison, rest in peace. But he passed away, a, I think, a day before the movie came out. Man, he was jumping too much. You win. At least the Psycho Crusher looked kind of cool in here. Oh. I was trying to end up with a special. Wow. You lose. Because Bison has a case of the jump and the jumpers. Round three. Fight. Here, Swab is ending. Probably the only game you will see Sawada ever because it's not a real Street Fighter character in any Street Fighter universe, but maybe one day.
I'm not even sure what, what was his role in the movie, now that I think about it. Besides being siding along with, with Guile. But yeah, that's what happens when Hollywood takes, like, is able to use the IP of a of a favorite franchise and then just turn it the way that they want it to turn it, without reading the source material or looking into like what made the game the game. I've seen it happen to like so many games, like what was it, Halo? I don't think Halo was that bad, but. It wasn't received well with the fans. Let's just put it like that. It was Halo. Then you got Dragon Ball Evolution. Don't get me started on that movie. Cowboy Bebop. The next Flix series. I mean, I heard mixed reviews about it. I heard it being so trash. I heard it being like it was an interesting watch. But I don't know. I still have seen Cowboy Bebop the the um, the Netflix series still to this day. And now since I remember it, um, since I remember it, I'm probably gonna watch it. What else? Death Note. Death Note became a love story from what I heard on the Netflix series, and lots of people. Like even even I seen YouTubers when um when like you know the fans of the YouTubers would be like oh yeah go watch Death Note and they'd be like yeah I'll go watch Death Note I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch it watching on Netflix cause I seen I seen they had Death Note on Netflix and you hear and you see so many people tell them do not watch the Netflix series and they went ahead and watched the Netflix series anyway and they'd be like oh um Death Note was corny and I'm like so what happens actually Death Note. The anime is kind of is is really godlike. Up until like I guess you could say when it gets to like the midway point, because it was like after. I don't want to spoil it if people don't people didn't watch it, but I'm pretty sure everyone watched it. But after after L dies, I think the show went kind of downhill from there the or the L uh, successors what'd you call it the reckless one I'm be honest I, li I liked him as a character because he just did whatever it took to find out find out about light and he just didn't give he just didn't give any flying fox What else series that... Oh, yeah, Resident Evil. I don't know what it is about Resident Evil. Every time when you have live action, they always seem to mess it up. The only Resident Evil live action that I liked was the first one. Um, the first Resident Evil uh, movie. First Resident Evil live action. Other than that, every other live action Resident Evil movie and series suck suck so bad I don't know what it is and the Netflix series I mean I know I may get a lot of I may get a lot of hate on this but I actually find that the Netflix series to be a little interesting I don't like a lot of things about it but the most funniest thing that I like and I find this funny was Wesker Wesker of course, Wester, like you know, they gave him a, um, they gave him a, a race swap, but what was his name? Lance Reddick, rest in peace to him. He did what he can 
with the role that he got and the lines that he that he had. He did what he can. And even though he came out as Blade one episode, to me that was like the high point of the series. Other than that, I don't like anything else about that show. It was I mean it was a good idea that they try to they try to do it as like Oh yeah, this is Resident Evil, but after like Resident Evil Five, and this was like a spinoff into like a different universe type of show. But what people want to see in that when um, Resident Evil Live action is that they want to see it being made with the characters actually look like the characters and the story actually being the story, and that's all they want. Yeah, like I said, when, once Hollywood get the get get um, permission to use IPs, they just look at the they just look at the characters and they be like, okay, we know what we're gonna do with these characters, and they just go off with it. And then they wonder why when they go on Rotten Tomatoes, like you know, you have all these freaking these paid up votes by people that they that are going to upvote the crap out of a crappy movie even though the movie or series is shit and then you have your the real audience telling you exactly what it is and they be like oh yeah the real audience they don't matter but I'm up there rambling about I'm rambling this is meaningless to ramble and even though it's meaningless you know I'm speaking the truth but anyways, that's my playthrough of Street Fighter the movie. If you want to see more, you know what to do. If you want to see, if you want to hear me ramble some more about stuff, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.